Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eric, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do those cool slow-mo music leads that you see all over Musical.ly, and um, you're probably wondering how to make them because a lot of people don't know how to make them, so I'm going to be showing you that today. So if you don't know what they look like, here's an example now. No, 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 no. Also, sorry about the background noise. So if you want to know how to make those, you got to follow these steps. So I honestly don't know if there's a way for Samsung as of now. There might be if you search it up, but it might not be exactly like. So the way I'm going to be doing this is on Apple. And I'm using my phone to record, so i got to use my iPod to do this. Also, you're going to be needing three apps. One of them you'll probably already have installed because every Apple phone or device has it installed. You're going to be needing camera. You're going to be needing um, video star, which looks like that. You're going to be, de and then you're also going to need Musical.ly, obviously. And you guys should know what Musical.ly looks like because you clicked on this video and it's a Musical.ly tutorial. So you probably already have Musical.ly. So first what you're going to do is you're going to record um, a slow-mo video on camera. You have Your camera has to have slow-mo or it won't work. So yeah. Go on slow-mo and basically record your slow-mo videos. So I'm going to be right back. Um, from recording my slow-mo video. Also, I forgot to say that um, slow-mo doesn't, like the slow-mo camera doesn't turn around. So you're gonna have to set it somewhere where you think it sees you and you're gonna watch the video over and see if it sees you and if it doesn't like reset up the camera. Okay, so I just recorded my slow-mo video. Now, there's kind of be, probably going to be part of a part of the video where you're like setting up the camera or stopping it. Now you can just crop that out. But what you got to do here, I'll just um, scoot over and show my screen like right here. Okay, so you're going to click edit, and then you see these bar things that are moving right now. You're just going to actually before you move those bar things, you move the thing that I'm moving right now, like the video crop. And you're going to crop it from where you want it to start. And then you're going to crop it from where you want it to end. Okay. And then you press done and click save as new clip or whatever choice you have. And then after doing that, you go on the new video that you just saved, click edit, and then, then move the lines above. And this is where you want the slow-mo to start. So I'm gonna make my slow-mo start like right there, or like no, right there, and then I'm just gonna leave it all the way to the end, so it keeps going slow-mo the whole way through. Then I'm gonna hit done, and then you got your video. So this is what I have. Once you have your slow-mo video all done you're gonna go to musically and you're gonna find an audio honestly I like temper audios because they have a lot of audios where like it has a beat drop and you can make it set in slow-mo so you're gonna go to search and type in whatever audios you like I'm just gonna use temper audio Okay, then click on the audios that you want and find a good audio. So let me find one.
Okay, well, I just found an audio, and then you can click on the make audio button for the post video, and you're just going to, just to make it go faster, just um, put it on Epic, and it just record anything. It doesn't, have, it doesn't really have to be something. You're just saving the audio, so. Okay, so once we, after you do that, you're going to just go for it and save it private because you're not going to really need it. Came up, that's all me. So after you save the audio private, you're going to go to your privates. And you're going to click the three dots and you're going to click save. Because you're saving it to your camera roll so you can get the audio. Then when you're done doing that, you're gonna go to Video Star. So after you get on Video Star, you're gonna hit the plus, and you're gonna hit Select Song. And then you're gonna hit Videos, and then you're gonna scroll down to where um, your audio was so that you just saved. Then you're gonna hit Make Video, and you wait. And then, again, you just record anything. Wait for it to stop recording. What am I doing? After you got your video, you're going to click New, and you're going to click Import Clip. Then you're going to click All Photos, and you're going to find um your slow-mo video that you took so and like that you edited and everything so that's going to be this one for me and now sometimes it's too short so to fix that you just go to camera and the audio that you recorded i'm going to click edit and you're just going to crop it down a little bit so i'm just going to crop off the end a little bit and then click save as new clip and then go to video star and just exit out of the one that you were already making. And then just start another one. Select song, videos, find the audio, make video, record anything. Okay, so then you're gonna hit the scissors and you're gonna hit new, import clip, and then you're gonna import your slow-mo video again. Except this time it should work, yeah. Make sure it's right there. Now sometimes you're gonna like, have to like adjust it to where you want the slow-mo to be, and it might take a little bit because it takes time to get used to it, Um, but you'll eventually get it. Okay, so I'm gonna see if this is good. So, so I just turned out to be lucky and it happened right at the right point, but you guys might have to adjust it and everything to make it set at the right point. And then you're gonna hit import and you're gonna wait. After you, after it's done loading, after it's done loading, you're going to hit, after it's done loading, you're done, basically. You press the X, and save that video to your camera roll. And then you're done, and then to um, put it on Musical.ly, go to Musical.ly, and then click the plus. And then click on the photos next to it, like your thing. And then click on the video that you just saved. And now you can like rotate it like this. And now you can save it as your own audio. Or you can actually put in the real audio, which it might take a little bit to do. You would click the, um, the button and then 
you click on the song button and then you would um type in temper audios and you could look you could play each one and just keep looking for it and if i keep going down i'll eventually find it but it might be a little bit so you can do that and then and then you're gonna use the um audio and then you're done but uh, you can also just post it like this you just won't have like the original audio that it was from it will be your audio and then you put your thing and then you post it which i'm not posting it because this is just an example so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and don't forget to do this after doing that you can go to my videos and comment i subscribe and hit the bell and i might reply to you so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below uh, other suggestions if you want me to make more musically tutorials and yeah Hope you guys like this video. Cue the outro.